It's the ISO guy, Sensei, the greatest on 2K in existence. And look, man, they brought back the NBA 2K15, Sunset Beach. This park is beautiful, okay? I wish the normal parks were like this. We always ask for it. They don't listen, guys. Just truly showed you how out of touch they are. But look, they messed up right they made all this realistic lighting there's like a dim there's like a shade okay why not just make it how it was in 15 this is another example guys before we get into the rest of the video of just how out of touch they are bro there's like a dim there's like a grayscale, right in 15 it was straight bright that's why people said this was like the best looking park ever okay it was a little too bright but to have the shade it's ridiculous we tell them every year we don't like the the damn shade and they still added this bro it's ridiculous it's overwhelming the community says this so the fact that they still do this is ridiculous man and just another example of the main point of this video okay y'all let me know down below if you'll be playing this event and if you played nba 2k 15 this brings back a lot of memories this is where i birthed the iso community if you guys didn't know i am the beginning of the iso community you know, i laid out a lot of blueprints in nba 2k 15 i'm a true pioneer okay people have become millionaires off the blueprints of the swan or they have become very successful creator okay it all started here nba 2k 15 sunset beautiful brings back a lot of memories y'all make sure y'all subscribe and like man what what i want to get into man we gotta body bag this guy this guy even has me blocked on my burner i don't know how he knows my burner right he had to be watching my stream because i never show it in my videos <laughs> this video is very important man so we're gonna talk about this npc's tweet responding to lili Lee Lee, we're gonna get into her tweet but people like him are the reason multiplayer gaming is being ruined he is a figurehead he's not like a real gamer he's not you know he doesn't really understand he's finessing these people for bread okay as you can see community advocate marketer you know he and he just ruins games you know they're truly out of touch they're following worthless data that truly proves nothing guys okay and i want y'all to listen to what he's saying this is how all devs all the multiplayer devs in the 2k community and all these multi this is how they're thinking and you're wondering why these multiplayer games don't hit the same and there's no more skill gap and fun gap being implemented into the games that you you grew up loving okay let's break it down and if you disagree with me anyone can debate me live Corey. you could debate me live i'll dismantle you make you look stupid any other person a lot of y'all you just spam paragraphs you make videos anyone can sound good in a room by themselves i'd mentally body bag you know Let, let's see what he's saying right now he's basically saying right here 80 percent of the player base in any game doesn't speak at all okay the 20 percent that speaks he's saying basically most of them are sheep and they're they're just not real people they're saying you listening to this video right now you're not a real person if you ever seen or watched a youtube video you ever seen it on instagram facebook TikTok, he's saying none of y'all are real people all the people who commented ever on any 2k related he, anyone that gives any type of feedback in a survey he's saying just all of y'all are just mindless sheep influence and you're just not real i mean the guys this is 2024 think think about it man who the hell doesn't have one of these social media apps and isn't recommended a damn 2k youtube video or who the hell doesn't have twitter guys in 2024 or instagram or facebook or tiktok you don't have it like should your opinion really be that valid i mean really think about it man and how are they even getting these opinions they're not they're not guys how are you talking to them they think because they can see oh the average time that the players on the game is more now oh we're, we're doing something right that doesn't mean nothing that means you added a bunch of tedious things in the game that makes the user want to be on the game more that doesn't mean he's enjoying his experience <laughs> But they wouldn't know that he, he wouldn't be able to get on 2k and get a positive win percent he doesn't communicate you see there's a disconnect he doesn't understand people like me that actually play the game play with randoms play with skilled people been playing since the first 2k you trying to tell i've been i've been going to people houses to play 2k my whole life i monitor thousands upon thousands of people's comments every year when it comes to 2k you know stream all this and that i get so many comments on all my social media's 
that's just not real. These are random people. They're not fans of me. They don't give a fuck me. The same people voicing their opinions online are the same people voicing their opinions offline. They all feel the same. There are very little differences between people, bro. Like, oh yeah, let's. Within the 20% that do, roughly only one through 5% give actionable feedback. And the other 15 through 19% are followers. So everyone, guys, this is how they think, bro. I promise you, bro. How delusional can you be? Someone's telling you all these issues about the game and you just, do you think, do, do people, guys, this is just insanity, man. There are no more kids, guys, okay? You would might've had an argument then. These are grown men telling you how they feel about the game. Everyone's grown, man, but doesn't give varying degrees of input. People have been telling y'all how they want the game for years. There's plenty of extensive input on how they want the game so this just isn't true and he's saying i would argue that creators don't really know where the community is or what they want from a broad pov they don't have access to data put the data on put the data on the twitter my boy someone put some data on the twitter and and prove the swan wrong prove us wrong you you guys don't have access to data that would prove anything it means nothing and you won't debate it live none of you we get on the game we're interacting with the community we're talking to them you guys don't do that just because you see a player is on a little more that means nothing if you do a poll right people will tell you what they prefer and it's the same thing we're saying overall the community likes certain type of 2ks and it's a fact no one prefers these new gen 2ks over the golden era and it's a fact you were to do some poll within the game it would show that you know from people that actually played the games and it would show that easily and it's not even close and then this 80 percent right here right most online users they there's this thing that they say guys 2k is the same game every year this is what they say this is majority of the 2k community same game every year they don't understand that the gameplay changes drastically so we're really listening to those people think about that that's majority of the 2k community anyone that understands the game knows that the gameplay changes drastically but we're gonna listen to just people that don't understand the game they just get on play now they don't they can't tell the differences between the 2Ks, they can't tell that 19 had a crazy fluid dribbling system compared to 20. They don't understand the game at all, but that's the majority, right? So who are we really listening to? The people who were once casuals and got decent at the game and understood it, your real fans? There, there's too much hate for people that get better at video games, man. Like they weren't once a casual, like they just, they were just birthed to just be a god or some shit. Like there's some uh rich kid that was just given everything. It's ridiculous. Like they're not casuals in other games. Like they can't understand the average users. It's kind of weird. And creators dramatically impact 15 through 20%, but likely won't shift the other 80%. To act like it's creators that are saying all this is ridiculous, guys. 70% or more of the community feel most creators hold their tongue Th this is what this npc is in understanding most creators especially in the 2k community they are losers that's never had any degree of success in anything they hold their tongue they want to get wined and dined or get a logo there are very few creators i am the realest 2k creator ever okay there are very few creators that actually talk that real all the other ones that talk that real, they're not even in the community anymore. So it's just like these little lies that just make no sense, man. 2K has the creators on lock. Carrot stick method. Gonna give you that early access. We're gonna fly you out to test the game. Maybe you could better test it. We're gonna give you the game early. We're gonna give you some free builds early. They control the creators. So to say this is just idiotic and he's just trying to control the narrative. He like if you guys think things that creators are saying isn't real, talk to your homeboys in real real life anyone you know about 2k you're gonna say the same thing that people are saying and they don't even watch creators go online go in game chat you could talk gonna hear the same thing you're gonna hear the same complaints guys all creators really feel the same but they're not telling everyone the truth and it's a fact now data isn't real numbers lie guys it's been proven that most numbers and everything is fabricated. They have sponsors to sell to, okay? They are finessing. I think they say like 80% of Spotify is like fake and all this and that. There are ways to f finesse double game era, all this and that. 
all the numbers y'all see it doesn't indicate what y'all think it does when it comes to the gameplay bro it's horrible and they're using gambling tactics to get people addicted guys that doesn't mean the user is enjoying their experience more just because they spent more money like for instance for buying builds everyone would prefer to buy ten dollar builds no one wants to spend a hundred a bill then they'd be like oh like look he spent way more money now than back then but but they they're not understanding how the customer is feeling it's gonna catch up to them who knows when they got so many avenues to really run through to really milk the community dry you know there's all these different marketing tactics that doesn't mean the game is better or even comparable man. like the cat breakers for instance creators spamming videos um, all these ways you can mess up your build, all these different badges, all these different elements, and it's enticing people to buy more builds and spend more time trying to get their build up and test a build. There's more options. That doesn't mean the game's better, right? Because you might see someone on a little more or this and that. There's more ways of the, the market, how it's designed, that don't mean the game is better, right? Because if you talk to these people, they'll tell you, that they preferred what creators overall be talking about. How do we make our favorite game more watchable by viewers? We've been telling y'all this. Give us golden era gameplay. This slow and clunky gameplay is not it. We've been telling y'all this for years. This is why you see so many creators complain because, because the gameplay is just not as fun as what they once experienced. And it's not nostalgia. You know, people want to have fun creating content. There has to be a skill gap to create separation. If the viewer thinks he's better than you because you're capped out and you don't look to whatever how is the creator going to be able to entice viewers as you don't get on the game uh corey you don't see i mean we play matchmaking even before this skill-based matchmaking always run into the same people the game is so active that would never happen if the game was so active wouldn't we all just get back-to-back -back games and we would just play versus so many different people wouldn't there just be so many players to play with. If the game was just so active, wouldn't that bleed into the content somewhat? Are these guys just, they're just forever ghosts. Nobody knows who they are. They're never going to uh, watch content overall. They're just gonna keep playing 2K and never just fall into the content. Come on guys. I mean, just use your head, bro. If the game was as lit as some of these people be claiming, it would reflect that in all creators overall, on the Twitch, on YouTube, everything. When games are active, that that's just how it works, man. Most of us live in an echo chamber. It's not true, bro. These 2K guys, they're insane. They're always coming to attack you. Um, um, it's social media, everyone's coming to respond. Everyone has different opinions. This just isn't true. There's a lot of varying opinions. Who the hell is living? in an echo chamber i would say you living in an echo chamber who could talk to you if 2k was so confident in their numbers they would show the active users every day to be honest look uh, lily roasting these uh double twisting creators on their knees trying to get a logo and go to community day not knowing that this is not going to help change their reality it's not going to help make them big a lot of people get lost it's why we can't create change because the creators is split like 80 20 i'm on the 20 of talking that real and 80 percent of the other creators they don't talk that real you know content creators being trash crab in the bucket mentality i swear i've been everyone's gonna turn into a baby swan at the end of the day, and they're gonna talk that real bro and it's not a lie this, this Corey guy he just caping why is the community so toxic shut your name out man make a better product horrible see what's going on man if you think any specific form of content is why the community isn't doing well as a whole you don't understand how the algorithm actually works how viewership on different platforms actually work and how much different everyone in this community's lives would be people actually cared about the game this is actually true guys. okay it's not the content okay you guys don't understand content creators they're not special people bro they are creations of the community okay they are created my players these guys at the tippity top who get the crazy views they are created my players of what you guys want what you guys give most views creators only post what gets views you think they want to post a damn build video they don't nine out of ten times when someone posts a build video they don't want to post it you think they want to post a jump shot video they don't but you guys don't you guys don't think about that the content y'all see posted it's because you the viewers 
that's what they click. Whatever content y'all see posted is because that's what you guys want to see. That's what you guys click. That's what you guys reward. It's not the creator's fault. It's the community. That's what they want. Some people, they could post different stuff. It works for them for some reason. You know, the algorithm is a tough thing, man. Sometimes it work with you. Sometimes it doesn't. That's the reason, you know, a lot of people can't do content creation. You know, it's too much for them. Sometimes it's easy for certain people. Sometimes it's harder for others. It's like a pageant, you know, it's not just like a skill or entertainment thing. It's just, oh, who do I like more? Who do I relate more? That's really what content is about. It's who you relate to more. That's really what gets you over the edge. So, you know, Heck tweeted this out saying people playing the game though, right? Or uh, this tweet. Cause I guess a lot of people are saying the game's dead or whatever. Um, I don't know, this don't look like crazy competition to me. I mean, it's not really saying much. So Lily makes an excellent tweet right basically explaining 2k can't die it's it's impossible it's a sports game it's connected to the nba no other game is like nba 2k there's no other game so it's always going to be popping no matter how horrible it is you can't create a play and go to the park play with can't can't do that in other games in a game where people grow up playing like people love basketball genuine it is one of the most exciting sports and it's even it for the all the losers that don't it's fun to play it's the aspect of you know it's impossible to die there's no other competition now she speaks about how 2k can't gain younger audiences because it's not marketed for them marketed for old heads who just throw money away and don't have control over themselves and they're milking them dry it's a hundred a build guys <laughs> what kid can pay for that what child is being given that type of money to play the game i barely hear kids on the game anymore now it's not just creators there are a lot of people that say this normal average users and they legit feel this the reason they feel this is because it seems like anyone that's just coherent like has a certain like iq level and just and it's not it's not the comp players it's just people that understand what's going on and that's millions of people guys they just stop playing the game so it's hard for people to find teammates all their friends don't play the game anymore it's not just creators guys i know it's uh very popular to just hate creators and all this and that but this is a real thing everyone feel they're like bro like compared to back in the day i used to have people that was just about playing the game trying to get better play and it's just not there no more people are just getting on and like, there's no more love for the game no more. i don't know why everyone they just hate creators i think it's because it's such a sought out career path that people want to do human beings love attention everyone's a damn narcissist these days social media is engineering you to be a damn narcissist because you have the abilities to just get famous well you know like you have the ability to post a video and thousands of people react to it. it's really damaging people's mind but who the hell wouldn't want to stream and have and be admired especially from a viewer perspective who wouldn't want to stream and just be admired given money for just playing the game you know that's how people look at it so i guess it bring it brings a lot of hate to creators post a video and be admired and all this and that that's people are looking at it and you know who wouldn't want to drop a video and be admired people love attention man so it really brings a lot of hate to creators man it's really not talking about enough and a lot of creators are lame as hell i i know but some of the some of the hate is just od now she talking that real right you can't nobody's gaining younger audiences real games like fortnite and call of duty they're free to play right 2K is not looking for that. They're looking for the older old head gamer that they can keep milking dry and using use gambling tactics on them and just keep milking them dry, right? Fortnite, it goes for all demographics, super young, old. That's how games should be. Builds are a hundred a build. They don't care about viewership, right? That's why they hate creators like me, because I call that out. They don't care about the activity of the game. They care about the money that they're getting. They're not even willing to risk. Oh, if we lower build prices crazy, wouldn't people spend more on build? Like imagine if builds were $10 a build. You don't think people would have crazy amounts of builds, but they don't want to risk that. You don't think people would like be on the game way longer? You never know. Or if the game was free to play and then $10 builds, that would triple the active user base. They're not worried about 
about that. People literally don't play the game. Like even, even though the game's horrible, most people overall don't even touch the game because of how aggressive the microtransactions are. They won't even touch it. A hundred, a bill? They won't even touch it, right? So this truly shows you that, you know, who they are, what they are, and how they really feel. They're not in a integrity position, my boy. Now, when people say the game's dead, right? They're basically like, they're basically saying, my friends don't play the game no more. How can what they say not be true? Like it's harder for them to find a teammate. Is They're just influenced by creators, oh my God. Guys, and people are comparing them playing a past 2K or other games and them being able to link up with their friends and their friend not being dreaded. It just seems like once you get over a certain skill level and it's not no damn comp 5%. No, once you get over a certain skill level, you dread playing the game like you don't really feel like playing you're, you're not excited and stuff this is how majority of the community feels i would say over 70 percent you know it's harder for creators to find people to play with it's harder for average people because no one really cares or likes the game i have not really i haven't seen no streamer that really enjoys the game i haven't talked to no user in random rec i haven't felt like the like they really like the game the only people i really hear speaking pop Positive are people just trying to get logos and people who just hate uh decent people at video games they just live in a constant state of envy those are the only people i've ever really seen big up the game man like this might be the least double twisted 2k ever you know 2k can never die it's a basketball game it's related to real life people grew up watching it bro someone needs to crack the code how is gaming up 90 percent i don't know what he's talking about i don't know maybe marketing tactics that don't mean they like the gameplay and it's a new day and age you know people are being invited to play games more that doesn't mean you feel me games just aren't the same they're not as fun at least the multiplayer ones but the story mode i heard they're they're doing pretty good it says but gaming viewership is down in the dumps as a whole are people playing but not watching the game and there's a lot of finesse you got to understand in anything in life where people are having sponsorships there's a lot of finesse they're doing to these companies man now look let's see what this Corey guy has to say okay people like him are the reason games like 2k are horrible and it's never going to change a lot of gamers don't watch gaming some just like to play their favorite game after work come home social hub um another thing there's a lot of negative content out there yes negative drives views but it will also drive heavy amount of casual people away so much negativity in the world okay saying all this and that but at the end of the day Corey, here, here's what you, you know i hate people that live in a delusion like this you could just tell he's never really played the game or done any type of content or anything he doesn't understand if people wanted to see the positivity of the game they would watch it and click it and then all creators would follow suit buddy that's what you don't understand creators only post what gets likes what gets views that is majority of creators they not just doing something just off of how they feel right so if people really wanted to see positive content on the game and not too toxic or whatever or negative they would click and watch it and then all creators would follow suit they're watching that negative content because they feel the same they can relate to it also y'all click the video on the screen man but hey hey here we go again yeah. here we go again people talking this but when this hit the fan everything i'm that made me now break it down yo off the top of the dome, dome.